Yeah, what's up, guitar, bass, violin, ukulele, whatever kind of string players. Uh, this might be a video for you. 42 Gear Street is happening in just a few days. And um, many companies contributed to the event by either coming and, you know, paying to make it happen uh, and actually being here. But some companies uh, contributed by, uh, you know, uh, not donating, but giving me stuff I need for the rooms, like uh, tuners, like uh, hum eliminators, like uh, 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 cables, hosa, you know, uh, uh, and, 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 and microphones, Sennheiser, all that stuff. So... I talked with uh, Peterson, and they were really, really cool. They have a new product on the market, and I was like, well, it would be great to have a good stable tuner in every room. And I said, well, how about uh, sending every YouTuber home with one uh, so they can talk about it? And they're like, yeah, okay. That's quite an investment because this thing is not inexpensive. I'll show you in a sec. But first, we look in the box. It came from my buddies from Denmark, from ADG, Audio Distribution Group, really cool people. Um, they will be here with uh, KMA, Audio machines. Enrico Preuss is going to be here showing us his awesome pedals. Now that's not edible. That's not environmentally friendly, ADG. Not cool. Not cool. So in the box are more boxes. Did we re did we really need the flizzle puzzles? I don't know. Come on, there there are these things out of. Corn that you can actually eat. Much better. So we have there's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then it's, uh, it's uh, borderline enough. Because I need some for the rooms as well. So let's look at how this thing is packaged. This is actually way, way cool. It's very way sexy. Look at the shiny, shiny blue logo. It's nice when something that you know you saved up some money for is neatly packaged. It's like the whole Apple experience. Yeah, you only open it once, but that is fun. And it's in here just like that, and that's like a foam. Come on, that's a neat packaging. And I put this right back because I have one on the table already. Um. So, it is in a really, it's the Peterson Strobo Stomp HD Strobe Tuner. And Strobe Tuning can be confusing at first, but once you get used to it, it is way more precise than the thing going left and right, because it shows you how far you're away in a different manner. Um, so this is kind of like a Strymon style uh, box, brushed aluminum, dark gray, very sexy, huge display, soft click, uh, rubber here, which means, yeah, I don't know how you get Velcro on there, um, but a, an even flush battery compartment if you want to run it with battery, which is included. Um, in and out on the left and right. Then we have an in and an out there for the power so you can daisy chain with the pedal and USB, I guess, for firmware updates. There's a plus and a minus here and a menu up and down here. I haven't figured it out fully how it works. And I'm powering it right now, not with a battery, but with a Chox DC7, which by the way, we're also using at Gear Street. That's the power supply of our choice. So, right now, I plug this thing in. Let's see, do I have a longer one? That's slightly longer. And nothing's happening, so, hmm, well, Maybe I need to plug in the guitar. And bam! <laughs> Look at that. Look at that half moon thingy. So with the plus and minus buttons, you can pick which instrument. Equal tuning, equal temper, minus one, uh, sweetener, DAD. So I like, I mean, there's, there's, acoustic, there's many, many, many different uh, tune ski thingies. Read in the manual about it, because they're all specially calibrated. Uh, I like the guitar sweetener, which uses a slightly, slightly different who knows what. Um, and then on the left and right here, there's menu things, like uh, menu in here. You can pick, check this out, 
different colors. So whatever you like the most on your pedal board, you can actually change colors. Green, na, 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 na. blue, of course, like the purple. Now, I'm gonna try to show you how this looks when this is slightly out of tune. You got a guitar here. So right now it's going way, way up, really fast. That means, so when it's going up, I, I'm, 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 I'm confused. You need to go down a bit. <laughs> it is really not easy when the guitar is not in your hands. Yeah, I'm in tune. So the speed of the strobe tells you how far you're away. And all you want to do is, like a video game, get this to stay in place. It is definitely a much more precise tuning than any other tuner that I know. It's a super huge, very bright display, especially if you, you know, change it to green or blue, or whatever. Uh, this purple is a little bit less bright. Green. This is not the least expensive tuner on the market. However, it's extremely precise. Really, once you get used to it, really, really great to tune. And probably that's the shit to get. I have to say, I've used the Polytune for a long, long time, and that's a great tuner. This is better. This gets me to where I'm saying, okay, this sounds good. This is this is the way to go. And I get a lot of tune your guitar kind of stupid comments. Um, Peterson Strobe Stomp HD. Check it out. Link is below. Uh, every YouTuber here is going to go home with one, which is great. Uh, thanks, Peterson, for supporting the event and 40 Degrees to Eat. Follow the hashtag 42GS1. And uh, watch all the cool videos coming out of here in the next few days. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. And we'll see you.